Before we dive too deep into this, it's so important that you know the law of attraction is working 100% of the time, all the time, and every time. So if you've been asking yourself, why isn't the law of attraction working for me? I've been trying to manifest, insert desire here, and it's just not working. Then I'm gonna be explaining to you the top three reasons why you're not experiencing it and what you can do to change that. So as I was saying, the law of attraction isn't something that gets turned on and off. It's a law of the universe. It's like gravity. You can't turn gravity on and off. It's a constant thing we're experiencing in our lives. You're constantly getting a reflection of what you think, speak, feel, and do. And all of this combined creates your vibration. And the things you experience in your life are in alignment with your vibration. One of the most important pieces of information you need to know about manifesting is your internal self, your internal world is reflected as your outer world. You hold the power within yourself. Once you stop letting your outer physical reality dictate what goes on in your internal world, in your mind, in your heart, then you become the creator and the opportunities and possibilities are endless. You're limitless. So let's dive into the first reason why you're not seeing your desire manifest. Number one, your desire is on a pedestal, meaning having this thing or this person or this state of being is so important to you and you're so attached to it that you put it above you. I was talking about vibration earlier and you have to think if you're right here and your desire is now on a pedestal, it's up here and there's no alignment between the two. You experiencing that is almost too good to be true and therefore it is. If you're desperate to have this thing, then you will stay desperate to have it. That desperate feeling will always be reflected back at you. You have to bring your desire off the pedestal. You have to release the desperate energy. Experiencing said desire in your life has to become normal. It has to feel natural to experience it. You take your desire off the pedestal by understanding that whatever feeling you're expecting this desire to bring you, whether that's happiness, comfort, love, whatever the feeling is, it's knowing you can create that feeling within yourself right now. You have that power. You don't need anything else to complete you or make you happy or validate you. You have to know that you are enough. You're the hero in your life. You're the main character. Don't push yourself to the side by making something or somebody more important than you. You're giving your power away. And how can you create if you don't hold the power? How can things that you would like to experience gravitate towards you if you're vibrationally throwing out your energy to something that isn't you? Keep your energy within. Hold on to your power. Don't let outside things take that from you. Become the center of your universe so things naturally gravitate towards you. Stop repelling things with desperate energy and start drawing things in with acceptance and love for yourself. Realize that you as you are right now are whole and complete and you're enough. Take this personal journey within yourself to love and accept and understand you can give yourself everything that you're looking for. Number two, your beliefs. What you believe shapes your reality. Do you believe you can experience your desire? Honestly, do you believe you're worthy, capable, or enough? Do you believe it's possible for you? Do you believe this actually can be a part of your everyday life? You might want to believe that you'll experience it, but it comes down to you reaffirming to yourself that you are worthy, you're capable, it is possible for you, it's easy. You can handle it, you can experience whatever you want to experience. You might have beliefs that are blocking you from experiencing your desire, old beliefs that you don't have to continue telling yourself if you don't want to. It's your choice. When you find these old beliefs coming up, you can choose to reaffirm your new beliefs, reprogram your mind to help you move forward. When it comes to your beliefs, the two components that have to align for a belief to be reflected in your reality are your thoughts and your feelings. Your thoughts are your conscious beliefs and your feelings are your subconscious beliefs. And in order for your beliefs to actually shift in the direction that you want, these two things have to be aligned. 
You can say, yes, I believe I can experience this. I'm going to experience this over and over. But if you don't feel it, then it won't be true for you. You have to work on aligning your thoughts with what you're feeling. Number three, not being as if. So this kind of connects the last two reasons I was talking about because when you start living your life as if your desire has already manifested, it for one, normalizes it, it takes it off the pedestal and it creates a belief in you that you're going to experience it because you're already living as if you are. And when you're in that state, your thoughts are aligned with it happening or it already happening. And the same goes for your emotions as well. So it's able to come full circle. You're covering all the bases. Your internal world is creating space for this thing to come into your life because as your thoughts and feelings and beliefs are all in alignment, you're already in that state of it being here and you're not letting what you see in your life currently deter you from being and from living right now as if it's true. So the only thing left for you to do is to experience it. So simply put, just be, allow yourself, give yourself permission to be the version of you already experiencing this desire. Your thoughts, actions, feelings, get into the state of it's already here, it's already yours, and you have nothing but gratitude and love in your heart, and in the end, it will be yours. So that is it for me today. Those are three reasons as to why you feel like the law of attraction could not be working for you. Like I said before, I hope you had that aha moment and you can now shift your perspective, your vibration, your beliefs, so you are able to live your desired reality as your everyday life. I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.